Hey there guys and gals, this is Barbie Figueroa with Rides Marketing and Design.com and thank you so much for watching my video. Well, first of all, I am super duper excited, grateful, and just blown away by the fact that this channel has hit 7,000 subscribers. It's a pretty big deal and honestly, I wasn't even really shooting for a specific number. It's something that has grown organically, but nonetheless, I'm super duper excited. And so every time I reach a pretty big milestone, I also like to share some tips on how you can do the same. So in this video, what I want to do is I want to share three tips with you that will help you start growing your YouTube channel over time, especially if you are in affiliate marketing or network marketing or a coach who are working on building your list and sending offers to your list as well. So if you want to know what those three tips are, then keep on watching. guys and guys again this is Barbie Figueroa with Rise Marketing and Design.com please take just one little moment to like this video and subscribe to my channel I would truly truly appreciate that all right guys and gals well here's a little bonus tip before I even get started I have been using pretty much the same format since I first started I mean I didn't have the brick wall back in the beginning when I very very first started I kind of like upgraded my background as I went along just to spice up my brand I had a really boring a wall actually I still have that boring wall it's over here I'm in a closet I think I've shown you guys that before but um, basically I am surrounded by all these little old school you know picture frames and stuff like that but I have this really nice backdrop behind me and basically my intro my outro it's been the same for probably the last two years and I haven't changed it because there's one thing that I like about videos that I watch and that is that familiarity feels like home right and I I love when I'm watching other people's videos and they have the same intro and they have the same outro and I can almost predict where they're about to say and I almost like say it with them and so I love it it works for me my intro my outro my transitions it all works it's been working for me so if it ain't broke don't fix it I love to keep certain things just old school style and so this is the format that works for me so I highly encourage you that if you find a format that works for you don't feel pressured that you've got to do this big old Hollywood production you don't the only thing that looks a little more advanced is this uh, this uh, background right here that makes me look a little more professional but honestly if you saw what I was surrounded by I'm surrounded by laundry and clothes and you know all that stuff so you don't have to be a Hollywood professional in order to start making videos for your business so with that being said I'm going to go ahead and transition into tip number one all right guys and gals so tip number one to start growing your YouTube channel over time now when I first really started getting serious about this channel it was a dead channel for a couple of years actually not even that it was a dead channel since I think 2008 2009 and if you dig deep enough you'll still find my original videos somewhere on this channel so I think they're about yeah like 2009 so gosh that's like 10 11 years ago okay um so it was dormant it was dead i was struggling so i really wasn't uploading to youtube on this channel and so i started at around 250 to around uh, then i got to like 500 subscribers when i really started to take off two years ago so it still took me two years to go from 500 to 7,000. now how did i do that well it's it's kind of like a, a mix of intentional action and just putting stuff out there and just having organic results I cannot control who's gonna subscribe to my channel I can't control who's gonna watch my videos all I can control is the consistency of how I produce videos so I produce videos two times a week and usually I upload Wednesday and Friday that's kind of like the schedule that works for me but I'm not really married to the actual day I'm more concerned about the quantity and the quality of the videos that I upload of one week you can only upload on Monday and Friday but then the next week it's like Tuesday and Thursday 
for me, what matters most is that I uploaded twice a week. And the reason why is because even when I watch other YouTubers, as long as I get their content, it doesn't really matter what day they upload. I just want to see their videos. So I'm okay with when they upload. Okay. So as long as your audience has an expectation that, Hey, I'm going to film two videos a week, give people two videos a week. Now, if you're watching, well, I'm really busy and I really don't have the time. Okay. Two videos a week is 104 videos a year. Okay. And sometimes I film more and there's only been two times that I did not upload. Uh, and that was during Christmas. I did not upload for that week. And recently my father was in the hospital, so I did not upload that week either. But for the most part, I produce about 104 videos a year. That is 104 little assets that I have online that are working for me 24-7, 365, perpetually bringing me traffic, bringing me views, and driving uh, eyeballs basically to my links, to my offers, etc. So it is definitely well worth the investment. Now, again, if you're a busy person, one video per week is still 52 videos a year. You have an entire seven days to produce one little 10, 15, 20 minute video. As long as it's good and it's value packed, that's all you really need. So if you have been kind of like procrastinating on getting consistent with doing your videos, get out of procrastination mode, get into action mode, because this is an asset that will continue to work for you even when you're not on your computer, when you're on vacation, God forbid you get sick or a family member gets sick, this will continue to work for you over and over and over again. I tell you, it is the best type of leverage. And not only that, because YouTube also registers in the search engines with a little SEO strategy behind your videos, you will have your videos ranking and people will be finding them not only on YouTube, but they'll also find them in Google. So it's definitely a marketing strategy worth investing in. And I highly encourage you to get started right now. The second tip that I have for you is pollinate. Okay. So obviously once you upload your videos, you hope for comments, interaction, engagement. So I'm a big proponent of what you give away, you get to keep. So whatever you want for yourself, you also have to do it. If you want to make more money, you better start investing more money. If you want to make more sales, you better start buying some stuff. So whatever it is that you want to receive, you have got to put it out there first and then the law of reciprocity of reaping and sowing starts to take into effect so if you want people to start commenting on your videos i highly encourage you especially in the beginning to pollinate now what does a bee do he pollinates different flowers right so what i mean by pollinate is that once you've done uploading your video set aside around 15 minutes a couple times a week you don't have to do it all the time but just a couple times a week to go to other channels that are in your similar niche that have a larger audience than you have and that are in a similar niche or they're in a complementary niche for example you can go into someone's channel that does the exact same thing that you do but obviously in a different way because they're branding themselves but another strategy is go into the channels of interest that you have. So for example, I like to watch Dan Locke's videos. Some people like them, some people hate them. I don't like all of his content, but there's a few pieces of content that he does do that I really, really enjoy. And so I'll leave comments on his channel. And I know for a fact that there are people that have seen my comments on his videos and they come over and they check out my channel and they subscribe. Some of them are even on my team. So I know that it definitely, definitely works. Another way is in your interest, right? So I also have an interest in Dave Ramsey's videos. Now, Dave Ramsey is not into marketing. However, his audience is all about seeking financial education, financial peace, etc. So I know that within some of his audience, you know, we share a lot of the same interests already. We are faith based. We uh, were interested in financial education. Those are interests that we already have in common if we're both watching Dave Ramsey. So an, in, an entrepreneur, depending on my comment, might look at my comment and come back, click on my name and come back into my video and check out my video. So you could do it by the exact same type of niche or the exact same type of content that you produce or go to channels that 
their audience shares the same or similar interests that you you'll be surprised that people will come over they'll click on your uh they'll click on your name and they'll come over and they will check out your channel subscribe to your channel check out your videos and even uh get on your email list which is what we want to do and then finally number three is piggyback off youtube now i've said this before on my channel but i do not monetize my videos i do not turn on my adsense and honestly i don't even have a ton of views but i do have a, a growing subscriber base but the focus of my channel is not to monetize my youtube videos if i'm being completely honest we pay for that uh, youtube red so that i don't have to see ads and so since i don't like to see ads i don't like to turn on my ads and i know that people might be thinking well you're leaving money on the table I'm all right with that. I don't ever want to feel like I'm making videos or that I'm pressured to make videos because I have got to get more views and then my, I don't know, it just feels weird to me, right? It doesn't feel natural where I've seen other YouTubers where they they love to make a certain type of content, but because those particular videos don't get them views, they'll focus on creating content that gets them views even though they really don't enjoy creating that kind of content just so they can get the views, so they can get the AdSense. And I don't wanna be that type of person. So I use a compul, and I'm not saying that everybody does that. Some people love what they do, they love the content they're creating, and they're also earning money from their AdSense, and that is perfectly fine. That's just not my strategy. My strategy is, piggybacking off YouTube, understanding that I do not control the platform, so I don't want to get entwined in any type of you know uh, income that I could make from the platform. They could easily demonetize your videos or censor you or things like that, and so I don't want to put myself in that position. So what I do instead is I piggyback off the traffic so that I can send viewers to my links. If you click on my description box, you'll see that I have different links. I have different free uh, marketing resources. I have all kinds of goodies inside of my description box that you can check out. And so what happens is, is that when people click on my links, I am bringing people into my email list, which is the asset that I do control. I don't control YouTube. You don't control social media. The only thing that we do control is our email list. And because I use the best all-in-one digital marketing platform to build my business, I get unlimited subscribers, unlimited, unlimited autoresponders. So I can I can build my list into the thousands, the hundred thousands, and not have to pay any extra. So if you haven't checked out our Builder All platform, which is our all-in-one digital marketing platform, and you are looking to build your list so that you can control your list, I mean, what's gonna happen if YouTube shuts your channel? or if Facebook shuts your uh, profile, I know that I have my email list where I can send out an email and I can stay in business because that is the only real true asset that you own inside of your business, your email list. So if you are a YouTuber and you have not started growing your list and getting your audience and conditioning your audience to go to your home base online, which is your website and your email list, you need to do that pronto because I've seen it too many times where ever, where people have all their eggs in this one YouTube AdSense basket, their videos start to get demonetized or their videos start to get censored or suppressed. And guess what? There goes your income. So always make sure that you give your YouTube subscribers a way to subscribe to your personal email list. I cannot stress that enough. It is super duper important. You have got to control your email list. So make sure that you start doing that. So those are my three tips. I mean, I could go on forever. There's so many tips that I can share with you, but those are the three main ones. So to recap, number one, be consistent. Do at least one video a week. If you can do two videos a week, those videos are gonna keep working for you 24 seven, 365, even when you're not on your computer and they're gonna continue to work for you for years to come. Number two is pollinate. After you do your video, make sure you comment on other people's channels. Comment on channels that are very similar to your own or from channels that share same interests that you do because within that audience, more than likely, you will find some people that are interested in what you have to say. They're gonna click on your link, they're gonna come back to your channel, they're gonna subscribe, and they might even buy from you or be a member on your team. It's happened to me many, many times. And then finally, number three, piggyback off YouTube. Do not put all your eggs in the AdSense basket. 
Always remember that you do not control the social media platforms. You just want to go over there, take advantage of the free traffic that you get, and make sure you are pointing people to your website, to your offers, to your lead capture pages. You are getting them to your home base. You are piggybacking off YouTube, but you are building you Inc. And that, my friends, you keep doing that over and over and over and over and over again. And before you know it, your channel will start to grow. And uh, yeah, you'll you'll hit 7,000 subscribers in a couple years. And it's a long-term game, but it is absolutely worth playing. All right, guys and gals. Well, hopefully that video helped you. If it did, please go ahead and like this video and subscribe to my channel. And make sure to hit that notification bell if you want to be alerted the next time that I upload a video to my YouTube channel. Also, if you want to check out the all-in-one digital marketing platform that I use to build my business, build my list, build my lead capture pages, and all that good stuff, I will have a link right below this video or right here on the screen, and you can check out my description box where you can learn how to activate a 14-day free trial, and if you activate a premium plan inside of our system, that means that I will be your sponsoring affiliate, we will get to work together, and you'll be on your way to building a digital marketing business online. So with that being said, this has been Barbie Figueroa. Thank you so much for watching my video. Please leave any comments below in the comments section below and I, I love to engage with you guys in the comments thank you again so much for subscribing to my channel I truly appreciate you I hope that you've learned something from the videos that I upload I really uh, I'm really grateful for your viewership and I just I love sharing content that's going to help you become a better marketer and is and is going to help you build a business that also allows you to have a life and honestly to make sales online without feeling like a pushy salesperson. So again, this has been Barbie Figueroa with RiseMarketingAndDesign.com. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you on another video. Bye.